Well, it's a big house, and it really looks like a great meet. Boy, I'll tell you, the excitement is uh, you can cut it with a knife around here. The referee for tonight's match, there's Jim Gibbons. And what a hand Eddie Bannock got tonight. He got a, he got a hand, a standing ovation that is coming back. Now here we are at 118. It's Matt Eglin of Iowa in the black. Again, he finished second in the Nationals last year, but he's had a bad year this year at 26. Now he's down at 118 again. And his opponent is Perry Summit. Now, he's not been in there all year for Iowa State, but he beat Gary McCall in a wrestle-off, and so he gets the chance. I think one of the things that we'll see is Matt Eglin making a lot of low-level attacks. He knows that Perry Summit likes to throw. He tends to be a fairly good upper-body wrestler. And uh, Matt Eglin will try to get that low-level attack we saw right there. In on a single, cheap, a double leg is in. A double leg takedown by Eglin. He's ahead two to nothing. This is his first time down, Judge. And it will be interesting to watch how he adjust to this weight reduction from 126 to 118. You bottom egg is set. Top man, you're on. Summit on the bottom. In his first big meet as a cyclone. Here's uh, Eglin trying to tip it, trying to load him up, get back points. Here he comes with it. Did he get back points? Well, he didn't make the adjustment into it too. Uh, maybe as, as hard as he could have, he might have got some more. The referee is Phil Henning from Marshalltown. Now, Iowa would like to get big points here, 4 nothing. Iowa State knows they have to win in these early waves because they tend to have a better chance here than they will up high. Well, he's doing what he has to do, and that's take advantage of that top position. Puts a lot of pressure on Summit, the Iowa State athlete, and uh, is trying to get those points where he can load him up, turn him to his back. Chicken wing by Eglin on top. Complaints by, boy, he's driving that chicken wing. Escape. But out, some of us out, four to one. With about a minute gone. I'd say Eglin looks pretty good at 118. He's got a fast start, hasn't he? This is a weight that's probably better suited to him. Those 126 pounders are big athletes pulled all the way down. Here he's just back in, like just drives right to him. You can see his body is fully on the mat, even though the other athlete it's off is still two. Six to one here. Perry Summit, a sophomore from Bloomington, Indiana, gets out now, makes it six two. But he needs to score big points. He needs to score takedowns, near fall, not back. Eight to two now in the first period. In that, in that instance, Summit put himself there by attempting to do that little roll so he didn't get the near ball point. Eight to two with only 50 seconds to go in the first period. Remember, there's Jim Gibbons. He doesn't want to see his man this far behind in the first period. He's trying to encourage his athlete to just get composed. You know, stay, stay in control of this thing mentally because you're not out of it unless you start to think you're out of it. And it's the beginning of a big meet. Eglin of Iowa, who finished, as we said, second in the NCAA last year. He's looking in NCAA form right now, isn't he, Doug? He sure is. Here we are at Carver Hawkeye Arena, the beginning of the Iowa Iowa State meet. I'm Doug Brown, with Chuck Patton. And you're looking at Matt Eglin, who's cut down now to 118 pounds. Iowa hopes to have Brad Penrith at 26 when he becomes eligible next week. Now, that'll be pretty tough then, I'll tell you, from top oh, to bottom. Yeah. One of the things that we, you asked me early was a crowd like this, what does it do? And I mentioned it may affect the individuals in certain matches. This might be one of the instances right here because you're watching a young man from Indiana. And he scored that point because he did break free. But you're watching a young man from Indiana who hasn't wrestled in front of a crowd this size, and it might be bothering him. Barry Davis, boy, he's he's excited about this meet too. We were talking to him before the match. In goes Eglin again. This time, Summit manages to stop the takedown. That's the first time really he shut off Eglin's offense. Well, you saw him lock that arm in tight when Eglin came in. He locked the arm tight. If Eglin would have continued to drive on that and slide up, that's where pump. Uh, Summit throws. 
Eight to three. The Iowa bench. Dan Gable happy with the label. Swarman. Here comes Simon double leg. No points because the period ended before he could get him. But that should give him a little confidence. Guess he knows now that he can attack. Maybe he'll get on that some. Injury time. Iowa. Injury time for Egeland. He has a uh, complaint about his thumb. Well, it does give the Iowa State coaches an opportunity to talk to Perry Summit, and they will give him advice because they can coach because it's not their athlete that's injured. Jim Gibbons and Les Anderson are out talking to him. Perry Summit, he's a sophomore from Bloomington, Indiana. He started his career at the University of Northern Iowa. Yes, he was there for a couple of years and then transferred. And uh, right now, I'm sure what they're trying to do to their athlete is convince him that this isn't over. That's Eddie Bannock. Making his debut as a coach back before the old hometown. I told you he had a standing ovation when he was Tell introduced at the beginning of the meet. And you heard uh, Phil Henning telling the bench to timekeepers to notify him when there's only one minute left. The wrestlers get two minutes of time to recover from injuries cumulative over the course of a match. And they should understand that if there's blood involved from bleeding, <laughs> then you throw that two minutes out. So. And as we've said many times, that's because it's harder to fake blood than it is a lot of other things. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> this, uh, my, my Matt Egeland has a, obviously, he must have sprained his uh, thumb. It was not uh, something he liked to have, but he's taped up pretty well now. Summit chooses down. Summit had the choice in the first period. Wants to get up and come away. Let's see what the Iowa State coach has taught him. Eglin still driving at it beautifully. They stayed after that well. Tilt. Didn't quite get it that time. This is what he's after, his arm control, so he can get those tilts. There's a nice stand-up. Good recovery time. Good recovery by Eglin to keep the position of advantage. Well, the referee started to signal one, but Eglin was back on that before he actually broke free, so he waved it off and gave no escape. A lot of riding time for Eglin, too. He has more than two minutes worth. And a minute advantage for one man better than the other is a point. Here comes Phil Henning over to the cup. Time when I did that? Okay, add two seconds. Add two seconds riding time. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Phil five, Henning. Well, he was over talking to the bench for the time to get injury time. Two more seconds for Eglin because he waved that off. The Coaches from Iowa State were telling their athlete that he's still in this match. Now there's the tilt, but Summit comes out. Not, not quite there he is. Eight nope. to four, it's a four point lead for Eglin of Iowa who had a terrific first period. Now we saw Eglin catch Summit a couple of times on just little quick pops. He just snapped him a little bit, got him off balance and then he hit his attack. He needs to go back to that now and not set on this lead. Summit trying to keep Eglin off him, but he, Eglin's low level attacks have been really successful. He's had three takedowns. Well, he's got him blocked out very well, and right now he's probably waiting for a stalemate because they can't improve. He doesn't dare come up out of it. Stalemate. Back they come. At 126 pounds next. It'll be Paul Glynn of Iowa against second-ranked Bill Kelly of Iowa State. Again, Eglin comes under. On the edge of the mat, back to the center. Summit is wrestling for Iowa State. He beat Gary McCall, as we said, in the wrestle-off this week. There were a couple of those. Tim Krieger solidified the 150-pound position for Iowa State. And Jeff Gibbons is wrestling because he won a wrestle-off against uh, Gezi of the Cyclones at 134. So that's the lineup they present tonight against the Hawkeyes. Going back to the center with just a few seconds left, 18 seconds in the second period. Well, I think we showed a graphic earlier that Summit was a freshman, but I believe that he's a South. Right. Eglin has been able, has uh, Summit's been able to stop Eglin's shots, but he hasn't been able to score himself. Well, they only hit that one high crotch attempt right at the end of the first period, but he hasn't made any other. He can't get through those arms and hands. They're bothering him. But Dan Gable. Iowa chooses down. 
coach of the century, I guess you'd say. Yes, he's, been, he's just done some really outstanding things with this with this team and this program. Summit will start up. One point was scored in that period. It was Summit's escape. Well, it's an eight to four score. He also, Eglin also has right oh. in there. I stopped him there. Two clear ball points and an escape. It's now nine to six. Summit got a quick tilt there, which was good for his uh, morale. I'm sure he's now down by three with a minute 46 to go. Well, now he has to affect some kind of offense through Eglin's arm. Eglin of Iowa. So when they meet up there in that upper level, what Summit has to do is get him out of there. You know, Eglin starts his attack before Summit can, and it keeps Summit from having an offense. Summit is down by three. Eglin started very fast in his first match here at 118 pounds this year. Well, this might be the point where an athlete that's pulled a lot of weight to get down starts to be effective. That's where Summit wants to be in there on the lock. Well, he hit that low level and then slid right up to it, but they were off the mat. And you're right, that's where he wants to be. Time is a factor. It's a question here. As you say, uh, it, uh, uh, Summit definitely looks the pressure of the two at the moment. And it's hard to know why, but Eglin fought that one off. He's, he's certainly making some offense, so now Eglin's in on him. He's blocked him out. But time is ticking away. Time is the friend of Matt Eglin. There's his mom who's interested in this. You bet. Minute to go. At 118 pounds between Summit of Iowa State in the red and Eglin, who just made that long shot from the outside. Even though he didn't get it, he still manages to, to eat up a lot of time because Summit isn't going anywhere with that move. And Eglin doesn't dare come out of there because he has to change his level to do it. That's where he can get thrown. That's a way that some athletes keep keep you from scoring is to get in that position. Remember too that Eglin has uh, riding time, so it's it's another point. It's actually ten to six in that respect. So Summit needs four points to tie. He has not been able to get through that block right there. There he's in past it. Warning against Iowa as they go out of bounds. Nine six is the score. Summit has 22 seconds to catch Eglin. He needs four points to do it. Matt started very fast, and who just made that shot looks looks like a winner. Well, he's in there to, to keep Summit from having an offense right now, and it's going to end right here. Take down goes to Summit. 